Grigory O'Brien is well known to, uh, needs no introduction, but Grigory um, recited at our very first concert in 2009. So now, almost 10 years later, we are just thrilled to have you back. Um, so thank you for, for um, being here. And I think you want to say, say a few words about the, what you're going to speak about. <laughs> what should we do? I go, well, well, thank you, Ben, and thank you. And again, perhaps I want to thank Gillian as well. She's certainly been one of the cooier in my creative life, too, as a writer and as a person leading the, um, the, 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 the creative life. Ben and I are going to start off, I'm going to do one of the pieces that Gillian composed when she and I were involved in an artist project in, um, in Fiordland in 2008, so 10 years ago now. And then following that, I think we're going to do two other pieces which Ben has set to music and... Um, and also, I would like to read three poems just between those two pieces we'll do with flute, with Luca playing. Um, I was at the concert yesterday, and I was just sort of thinking in terms of this wind instrument and thinking how um, you know, the voice is part of that family too. Um, as a poet, when you do readings, you tend to use things like themes or content in a way to decide which poems you read. But while I was sitting here yesterday for a very, very blissful hour, I'd have to say, I just thought of three poems that... A couple of them reference music, but I thought there were three poems that I could read and hear, and you could listen to them as sound. You know, you don't have to follow them, and maybe that would be a way of knitting together this next little bracket. Okay. So this is Wet Jacket Arm is the first one. So this was um, composed 10 years ago by Gillian. So. Was it a cap made of thrum or just the overhanging weather? Richard Henry's fine country for the waterproof explorer, or, as Cook noted, a densely wooded head. We came as far as the end of most things. Foot arm was only a body of water away. The lengthening shadows of a rainforest no longer there. of teas sipped on the Branksy girl would not sweeten that pepper forest, nor evening in its dusky coat steady these unlevel waters. Mm. 